Uh, we got the Nut Scyther open, by the way. So we're definitely gonna play that. <laughs> One shot, whatever he puts out, please. That feels pretty bad. Uh, this guy better not put me asleep, because that's gonna really stink. No. Fuck. Okay, we might wake up. I guess. The only thing that matters is if we are awake on the turn that we get the triple energy. Because we actually don't need to sword stance to kill this guy. I mean, we'll do it anyway just because it's the only option right now. Alright, now we needed the sword stance to kill this guy, so I'm glad we did it. What does this guy do? Whenever an attack does anything to haunt or flip a coin, if heads prevent all effects of that attack, including damage. The defending Pokemon is now asleep. That's actually... This could be annoying if we get unlucky. There's nothing. That can be hypnosis. This dude's got all the sleep, man. Really quite obnoxious, but hopefully we, uh... Fuck. That's gonna be a problem, because now we're gonna be asleep, and we're gonna fucking fail the sleep check, and... Or not, I guess. He just doesn't care. Bro, what? This thing has 50 health, too, like, that's... You know, that's pretty significant for having to hit the luck check each time. This is my own personal hell. Right? Man, imagine if this game used dice instead of coins. You could have so much more uh, dynamic gameplay. You could introduce different different odds. Instead of a 50-50, you could do like a 2 out of 6, so like a 1 third. You could do a 1 out of 6. You could do a 5 out of 6. Make something more likely than not. Well, at least we're waking up each time. That's quite helpful. We do have these switches to pull us out if we need to, uh, get out. We're about to die. Dude, please! Ugh! The thing is, we have to hit this check twice as well. He's just picking away at us. Fucking painful. I'm gonna hold that defender. I was like, do I want to use defender? Probably not. Alright, you bastard. Get out of here. Dude, we're gonna be dealing with so much sleep. Alright, we got it. We've been waking up though, which is great. If we ever don't wake up, we can always, uh, pop the switch. I think we're gonna hold our Professor Oak just for a sec here. God damn, man. Yeah, I want to have access to my switch. Alright, I get it. We're asleep. Okay. I kind of figured we'd, we'd fail one eventually, of course. Alright, switch. Bring the Lapras in. The good thing is that we actually are able to, uh... 
you know, knock him out with our current energy setup. Uh, do we have anything? Hold on. We literally just have switch. Alright. Beautiful. God, what a fucking annoying, annoying card to have to deal with. Gust of Wind is also great. That lets us kind of change up who we're facing off against. Oh my god. Uh, what a fucking annoying... An annoying playstyle to play against. What does this thing actually have? Pound for 20. You have anything really weak? Does he have like a ghastly? Uh that we're gonna we're gonna knock this out. We'll switch to uh Scyther and we'll gust to win that. Let's switch to Scyther. Gust of wind. To ghastly. Anything else we wanna play? We can item finder for some stuff as well, which is great. Let's get rid of one of these guys. Let's see what he takes. Gnosis is the psychic energy. Okay, let's get rid of that for sure. <laughs> get that shit out of there. Alright, we're just gonna hold. I mean, I'm probably dead here, which is totally fine. I could have grabbed a defender, which would have been smart. But we'll just let him pound. All good things must come to an end. Alright, we're gonna need to use a Professor Oak. For sure. Let's see what we can get here. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Gust of wind for something. Probably just energy removal, honestly. Yeah, I want to neuter these guys as much as possible. We might actually find a gust of wind off this Professor Oak and we can try and take that other ghastly out. Presuming we also get an energy. Hold on, let's look at our spread here. Seal, Lapras, Goldeen, Bill, for sure. There's another Oak. Let's cycle even harder. Yeah, another energy makes that a two shot. That's also two shot. That's one shot. So for sure we'll do that. I'd love to have these guys on my bench. We have two seals already, so we won't put another one down. Let's do a Lapras. That might be a little greedy, but whatever. Alright, Gust of Wind. We keep two of these, I'm pretty sure. Right? Energy Retrieval. Kinda good on energy right now. I'm gonna Confuse Ray just to, uh... We could have made it a two-shot. I wanted to try and stun him because I don't have confidence in being able to wake up. Oh, he's just gonna pound me. Fuck. 30 damage, no! Yeah, let's start building a seal so that we can do gone. Chansey's also kind of tempting. We'll probably just toss the Chansey for uh, energy retrieval. Yeah, he might just try and put damage in on us. I thought he was going to go to sleep hack us. We do a pincer. We don't have any grass energy, which is unfortunate. 
see what we get here. Sea King, nice. No energy. Get fucked, please. Now let's do this. Bada bang, bada boom. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good now. This will be a two shot even if he does get the uh, leech seed off or whatever. Oh, we only have one more prize to get. We kind of just win, huh? Didn't even realize. I was used to that metal battle. We had six. You're no ordinary player if you can defeat me. Yeah, I have the patience of a fucking saint for dealing with that fucking bullshit sleep. Got a fire energy. That flamethrower is fucking big though. 60 damage. Sand true card, so cute. Evolution. Golem. So cute. Next time we play, I'm going to win. Mm, it's possible, I guess. Hi, I'm Murray, master of the Psychic Club. You're the one who's visiting the clubs to win the medals. How do I know this? Because I'm psychic. Let me test my new card strategy against your deck. New card or Mew card? For six prizes. He's got a spoon. This font, I can't tell if it was an N or an M. Did it too quick. We got Seal and Goldeen. Seal's got more health, so we're gonna start with that. Well, Dean is a free retreat, though, so maybe we should have done that. We can try a Pokeball for a... Uh, nice. Try and Pokeball for a... Holy shit. For a Dugong. God damn, dude. This Pokeball sucks my dick. There's four. We really gotta make some moves before that guy gets too big. That's going to be kind of scary. Kangaskhan seems really good, though. If we do a normal deck, we'd have to run that. That's a good find. Not a whole lot we can do with this hand, unfortunately. Fancy on the bench. Thankfully, he's actually not prioritizing his Kangaskhan. He's just using it for the draw. Which is fine. I can respect it, but... I don't know. I, ha I was worried about the damage it could put out, and now he's kind of... fucking around with it. He's building a Kadabra back there, though. That's a little scary. Yeah, let's put an energy on our Goldeen. I'm just gonna assume that we can get one of those evolved. Super Psy. Remove all damage counters from Kadabra. That's pretty good. And 50 damage for three. That's crazy, man. Man, his, his deck really is just wall and power up one guy. It just stacks the Kadabra again. Being able to sit on this Kangaskhan is so valuable. It's getting so much, uh... 
so much draw off of it. We're chipping them down. No, you son of a bitch. Good thing we, uh... Kept our... Water energies in hand. Alright. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna switch? He's gonna build Chansey now. Yo, where the fuck are my cards? I cannot guarantee the safety of our seals, so I'm gonna refrain from putting energy on it right now. Gotta be shitting me. Alright, well I'm glad we didn't put energy on this, because this dude's about to get fucking smacked. Is he gonna fucking sweep me right away here? Like, I can't draw anything. Another seal. Seal's got a lot of HP, which is good. Um, we should probably gust a win, huh? Deal with that guy in a minute. Yeah, let's bring that Mr. Mime out. Right? Hold on. What's her retreat cost? Only one? Mm. And all those guys have really low retreat costs, obviously, except for Kadabra. Fuck it, man. We have to do something to at least get him to expend resources. I need to find a Professor Oak right now. Pretty bad. Finish the turn without attacking. Let's scoop up. Keep our, our boy alive here. Put him back down, put the water energy. Let's hold this water energy, actually. I might need that. Alright, we're getting him. Be low damage to start off. Do you have the potion in case we need it? Bro, where? Where are my guys? What the fuck? Where's my Professor Oak is the better question. I knew that was going to happen. Uh, this is not very sustainable for us here, clearly. We are going to lose. Lapras is, is pretty nice, for the most part. If I can get the Confuse Ray, that would be huge. Potentially, at least. Who knows, he just wins all the coin flips and doesn't matter. God damn, man. Gross. Very gross. He's only got one prize. Now he's got two, but... I want my Lapras to be healthy enough to fight. I guess we'll just do Goldeen. If we get another Grass Energy, this guy could actually put some work in, potentially. With Paralysis. Put another Seal down. We showed him. God, Cadaver's strong, man. I guess we'll bring Seal out. It can survive a hit, so. If anything we could item find her for, scoop up, gust of wind. Probably just Bill at this point. Like, I need cards. 
Although, it's Mr. Mime is one hit away. We'd probably go for Gusta Win then. Because we get a card from our prizes. Bro, what? Son of a bitch. It's going fucking aggro on me. Grass energy. That's a tough thing. Is it? Do I want to try and? Do I want to try and paralyze this guy? Or do I want to just gust of wind to knock a guy out to get a prize? He deal, deals five. Potion doesn't save me. Let's go for the gust of wind. This guy out. Pop him. God damn, man. Switch could be useful if we draw like a grass energy. We would have to get very lucky either way for him to be paralyzed over and over. Not just fuck us over. Water energy, that would have been great to have prior. I mean we have to we have to put damage on him. We'll keep our switch in hand. I think we just lose here. God damn man. I can't believe we didn't draw any of our fucking draw cards. We didn't draw any evolutions either. <laughs> Alright, well, ooh. Buy some time. I mean, we might as well switch right now. So our seal can remain healthy. Fuck, man. Are you kidding me? Well, we can knock him out. We'll be very, very unhealthy. Actually, that doesn't work, because he's going to return and kill us with his other Kadabra. There's the Sea King that we can't do anything with. Yeah, we, we lose here. He can bring anything in to just tap us. Fuck, are you kidding me? We had like a million turns at the beginning of the game to draw anything. Because of the uh, Kangaskhan stall. And just didn't find anything good. You weren't really ready. If you keep playing like that, you only inherit the legendary Pokemon cards in your dreams. Alright, you son of a bitch. Fuck you. We're doing it. Bro, my energy? You have Professor Oak at least. Damn. Never lucky, man. Kangaskhan on the bench. There we go. Let's do this. Let's actually uh, hit him with the switch up. Let me check this Abra. Psyshock has a paralysis chance. Kind of annoying. Uh, is this a free retreat? It is. That's also really annoying. I mean, we could we could try and goad him into staying in. Let's do that. We'll Professor Oak. We'll tap him for 10. Double colorless water, double colorless. Uh, pincer with a grass and a double colorless. It's not half bad, actually. Then we just need one more grass. 
Yeah, let's tap him. He's gonna just, just gonna switch out for sure, but. Oh, he's staying in? Well, now you're just fucked. He risked it trying to get the chip damage. Of course, we have Sea King. Oh, Go Dugong. No, Gugon. There's the chance. Annoying. Fine, though. Goddamn, son. God, these Pokeballs suck dick, dude. I literally can't hit a single fucking success. Does this prevent uh, the confusion as well? Any other effects still happen? Okay, we'll try and confuse it. Beautiful. That's actually huge for stall breaking. Because now every turn he has to risk. Yeah, he's better off just kind of sitting. Alright, cool. I can dig it. Get fucked. Snorlax. Alright. It's gonna take us a minute to tear through this guy, but we're not playing on the back foot the entire game now, which is great. In fact, him not being able to draw cards with the fetch is quite good for us. Let's do that. I mean, we could grab Professor Oak right away here. We'll play this grass next turn and then we'll think about doing that. And this dude risked his Abra, but he's not risking, I was gonna say, not risking his chancy. Trying to retreat. The bitch boy. Yeah, I don't think anything else really benefits from the double colorless. So let's item finder. I don't really think I need another seal. Right, what do we got? Something useful in here. Man, this dude ain't got shit. Of course, now we get the Goldeen. Two Pincers is probably too much, actually. I think I'd rather do two Scyther, one Pincer. I don't think we have two Scyther, though. Yeah, let's leave an open slot here. Water gun. Beautiful. There's the Sea King. It just works. Fucking annoying scrunch, man. I guess we could gust of wind him away. Snorlax has 90. Hmm. Man, I wish I had a switch right now so we could put Pincer out. I mean, we could always just retreat, but it feels like such a waste. Here's what we'll do. Try the tried and true. Fuck your scrunch. There's a dugong. Put that down. Guess we'll put this on. 
this quick. Put this water energy on the Sea King. So our retreat cost two? Yeah, that kind of sucks. So it would be a three shot. I mean, let's just, let's just water gun him. We could go greedy and it's annoying. Oh, there's a switch. Very good. Do that real quick. Energy removal. Yeah, let's let's use energy removal real quick on Kangaskhan. I just don't want him to draw any cards. Get Pinsir out. And Pinsir takes a little while to get going, but once we got him on board, dude deals a lot of damage. Get fucked, you dumb bitch. He actually loses the energy still, which is crazy. Crazy good for us, at least. Alright, get fucked, Murray. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna fetch a card. Cool. Got six cards in his hand. Where like what <laughs> why aren't you playing anything? Dude's hand is bricked. Bricked as fuck. Alright, we got the two shot prepped. Eight cards in hand. He's just gonna pass. Little whack, but whatever. Totally fine with that. Two shot this. Nice Abra. Be a shame if something happened to it. Yeah, we got stacked bench now. Yeah, huge shame if something happened to the Abra. <laughs> Alright, goodbye. Now we're gonna two shot this guy. Unless we have an item finder, which I don't think we do. No. And this grass energy are fucking useless. Very nice, very nice. Goodbye, Murray. Dude talked a lot of shit, man. Didn't even, didn't even take one prize from us. You won the duel with Murray. Huh? I lost. Hmm. Must be pretty good if you're trying to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. Here, take this psychic medal. Cool. And here, take this laboratory booster pack. Nothing new. Where are all the new cards, man? Supposed to be missing a bunch of cards. Oh, this Golduck's new, I think. I think Pokemon is now paralyzed. Hyper Beam removes energies, of course. I'll think of a new strategy, so come see me again. I'll be waiting. Ha 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 ha. Kind of thinking our rival was going to show up. Maybe we should go to this, uh... Is it the dome? No, it's the challenge hall. Check our email real quick. Hey, Joel level one. What are you doing here? Challenge cup is over already. Too bad you couldn't enter. Prize belongs to me. Level eight Mew. You really should answer that. What? We missed it. I'll also win that one too. What a bastard. I didn't know there was a chance of missing it. 